uh, hi everyone and welcome back and in this video we are going to talk about some questions related to call apply and bind i will not ask what is call what is apply what is bind when to use them but some coding use cases when we actually deal with a call apply bind okay how it is different from the normal program first of all what what all the what is the usage of these different methods right from a simple language call apply bind is actually used to override this context in a particular function or an object right a uh, bind method create a new function that when called has its this keyword set to that provided value okay like i have some function dot bind and i'm passing sorry this is a function and i'm binding with this object okay so what it is doing it is creating new function and it is binding this function with a new object so if you are trying to access some properties it will get those properties from this object okay similarly we have call apply bind okay and now we are going to talk about one simple example how these actually differs simple call apply bind if you wanted to understand we will talk about the example first let's take a look on to this code example okay so here i have something in the global dot x is 9 okay and i have this object and i have the get x function now i will just remove this when i try to do object dot get x what should be the output according to you i am just calling get x method and it is going to give us 70 right simple it will obviously give 70 because object while calling object dot get x this is pointing to this object and this dot x will be 70 what if if i just don't call this object x something like this i just call get x and i will call i will assign this into another variable and then call it now you will see the difference in both the execution when you are writing get x like this you are calling it right here you are assigning it to another variable which is global and then you are trying to call it right here it will print 9 which is global dot x why because the function gets invoked at the global scope here when you are calling it directly here the function was being invoked at the local scope now you assign it to some another variable now you are calling it that means function is now being invoked at the global scope and global dot x will be 9 this is little tricky and it become little confusing also how it is working right now moving to call apply bind uh we will we'll understand it from a simple functions some simple examples so this is our person object we have full name and when i call it person dot full name obviously it will should be able to give us first name and last name and there there is a situation where i wanted to actually override this context i don't wanted to use the existing object properties first name last name then how can i override it so call apply bind actually invokes on the function here i have a person dot full name is a function here i can do a dot call every function has this call apply bind method and here i can pass a new person okay this new person has some properties like first name and last name if i wanted to override it then what i will do is i will just set it to the new person so what i am doing in this particular line is i am overriding this context by passing a new person object so this dot first name will point to this object and i will get bb and aa here okay so what we are doing the call method can be used to invoke call a method with an owner object as an argument so here we are passing explicitly passing okay let's don't use the existing object properties i'm passing you you have to override it with this context right it can it, this object can belongs to anything which you are passing and overriding the context here similarly the difference between call and apply is apply takes array as an argument where you wanted to pass uh, multiple arguments you can actually use an array okay so another example if we just take a look on to this so here we have object o and function this dot x we are calling this function then that is fine if you wanted to override the context of this function then function dot call o 
that means I'm overriding it and I'm passing x50 explicitly so 15 will be printed right so every function has this call apply bind methods if you do a console.dir function then you will get it let me just wipe this out and also try to execute some examples okay it's not coming okay we didn't print this If I just try to print console.dir f okay I will not be able to get more details about it but when you do it in the Chrome console you can see all these methods available there okay so a simple example now so very importantly note that the call method as above will not work in arrow functions that is also another important aspect which you might have forget we already talked about arrow functions in the previous video right so how it will behave when we are using it with the arrow function so it's like call apply with arrow functions right so we have already seen what is arrow function what it does to the functions now what is a call apply call apply are just to override the context and how we call them function name object dot function name dot call or function name dot call and pass your object okay here we have we have this simple function right in this object we have this a is an arrow function and function 2 is a normal function we have now if you try to print this some values and we'll try to grid function c obviously will be undefined function c dot call uh, because these are not accessible directly I will just try to get the function first okay this is our function and what we are trying to achieve is this is an arrow function function obviously it will be undefined because inside this dot x this is pointing to the window object currently right function dot call object I have some object already and I'm trying to pass this and I'm trying to this dot x this dot x is 15 here but it will not print because this is an arrow function the first invocation of f will display the the value 10 so if you see this function dot call and i'm passing object this will give undefined this will also give undefined and here let's forget about these things now if you talk about function 2 object dot uh, object dot function 2 dot call and we are passing the same object 15 accessing the the correct value object dot function dot uh, call this function if you are invoking this dot x that will be undefined so this is pretty much clear we have this function two examples with this function and object dot function call with this object okay so uh, the call method invokes the function uses its first parameter as the pointer inside the body so it is using object as a pointer inside the body and in other words we have told that the runtime what object refers to those values will be accessed using this like object right when you print this dot x it will check in this object do we have x property or not okay so this is how it works and if you talk about simple apply then apply methods can be executed on these all different prototype methods like math dot min dot apply here this is the math context and here we can pass all the arguments right this is the use of apply instead of a call you if you use apply then you have to pass an argument which is an array okay so a simple examples we have discussed so I call a function with argument provided individually if you know the number of argument to be passed or there are no argument to be passed you can use call I mean just a one argument apply apply calls a function with argument provided as an array you can use apply if you don't want to if you know that how many arguments or multiple arguments are being passed I think call applies are clear now if we talk one by one what is call what is apply and what is bind okay that we can talk about okay 
so at a high level call and apply execute a function immediately bind returns a new function okay call and apply are kind of similar in the way they allow you to invoke a function the difference is that call takes a single argument apply takes an array so if we talk uh, on another example is uh, this so here we have john bob this is a simple function okay bob dot favorite food okay so bob dot favorite food here we are trying to access the the property and we are calling this method right so here if we just try to access these using call and apply a simple example which i got from the web favorite food dot call and what i'm passing is i'm passing so these are the two objects i have i'm actually overriding the context here bob uh, favorite food dot call i'm passing the bob object so favorite food will be spaghetti okay instead of these uh, favorite food dot apply i am passing john and uh, these arguments so it's time of so the based on that their override will happen and we will get the access to these properties which we are passing and then undefined after each action is undefined so we are passing two arguments right either you can pass these two arguments from an array or obviously not from the call so here if you are trying to use this using call call can you can actually pass a single argument uh, so you have to use apply so favorite food dot apply i'm passing john object so favorite food will become uh, pizza favorite food will become pizza and after action we already have this as a sleep okay a uh, simple example about this and if we talk about bind so let's talk about the example for the bind uh, i already have the example copied now if you look at this so get x this dot x if i want to bind this with some another object right object dot a get x so we have already discussed this problem object dot get x i can box and it will be undefined you already know this because it will point to the you are calling this function in the global scope but how can i fix this i can actually bind it with the object again and bound x will now bind it to this object not a global context so you will get the 42 value okay so these are different examples for call apply bind with different examples we'll try to understand this and these can, these type of questions can be there and uh, maybe a coding questions where you have to just answer one of the option okay thanks everyone so in the next video we'll talk about array helper methods